let us look at uh, the second part of uh, third exercise in Microsoft Word that is the 3B. In this we are supposed to create a timetable. So let's create a timetable. I have my Word document with me. I am going to just paste this uh, timetable and uh, I am going to center it. I am going to make it as uh, bold and uh, under home you get that so bold as well as the center so you have uh, the timetable at the center and uh, if you look at this timetable there will be eight rows and eight columns will be there you can calculate uh, them visually so i'm going to go to the insert over here control z let me go to the insert and uh, under this uh, insert I have the table and uh, under the table I get uh, the insert table option over here insert table and I'm going to insert uh, the eight rows and the eight columns once that is done let me click OK and I have the eight rows and eight columns and then I'm supposed to go for the 50 50 percent uh, option over here and that is the <coughs> first four uh, uh, columns merge it and the second four column merge it so I'm going to go here and I'm going to select 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, to merge it we know very well that uh, we will go to the layout and under layout you have the merge cell. Click on it and you have the merge cell ready and I'm going to select this part and I'm going to say merge cell. So this is done. Once this is done we are supposed to type it. I will copy paste it to reduce the time of this video so I have this uh, class being copied as well as uh, the room number being copied so that is uh, done then I'm supposed to write the day Monday Tuesday and so on so let me copy this I don't think so I will be able to copy the whole thing there because uh, it may not directly copy from the PDF document so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on and so forth so let me do that but let's see whether I'm be, I'll be able to do it otherwise I'm going to uh, you're supposed to type them so I will uh, copy paste it even though I'm copy pasting it you are supposed to type them and uh, if you notice over here uh, after this there is a lunch break and then you have the first four there so let's um, even do that part I have a provision for lunch break there and then this one and uh, this I assume that I am typing it even though I am copy pasting it so just uh, this is done and uh, I have the part over here and then I have this days over here Monday Tuesday and so on so see whether I can copy paste this control C and uh, control V it I'm doing it uh, so that uh, I can quickly do this part. So I'm drag it over here and drag it over here. Assume that I'm typing it. So uh, just uh, get it uh, very quickly. I'm doing it and uh, this part. Okay. I have my lunch break, which uh, I'm supposed to keep it here. So let me do that part. Okay, so that's done and um, let me keep it here, lunch break somewhere else and uh, the last part that I'm supposed to do with respect to this is I'm supposed to get this lunch break over here. So let me go over here and uh, select this uh, full thing over here. If you notice uh, from here to here, this is not touched from here to here, it is merged. So I'm going to select from here to here and I'll go to the layout and I have merge cell. So that's done. Assume that I have typed uh, lunch break over here. Now this lunch break appears uh, uh, this way. It is, it is supposed to appear. So how? what is the solution for that? Select it. And uh, you have uh, under layout, you have uh, a option for text direction. So you can notice over here, that is the text direction. So click on that text direction. It will change accordingly. And uh, this is what you are supposed to do it, I suppose. So that's it. It's all done. Now it's a time to align them properly. Select all of them and then I'll make it as center first. So this is what you're supposed to do it. 
So this is done. Now the next part is uh, there is a lot of space here and they have reduced the space. So how do we adjust them? So just go to this border. Remember this is a minor, uh, very precise way of doing it. You just go here and then drag it this way or you can go to this part and drag it. It's up to you. Okay. So I got it done. So my table is ready. If you want, uh, you can even reduce, uh, increase the size of it. My table is ready with me. Only thing is that this is uh, aligned to the other side, other direction. So I'm going to go and uh, say this here. You have the alignment options here. You can notice over here this and uh, it's done. After that, um, it is just uh, the time to color the content. So let's go ahead and let's select the first uh, row. And I'm going to go to the design over here. Under the design, you have a lot of colors. Select the color that they have specified. So this is the one color they have specified. Then the next one is this color. So select this one. And then um, they have uh, specified uh, the color. Okay, that's it. I'll select one color. And then uh, select one color for this one also. Select them drag them and select them and then just uh, give one color to it also the last one is the lunch break so let's give a color to the lunch break also so let me give some yellow color to the lunch break lunch break is done if you want to make all of them bold if at all you feel that uh, it is not coming properly make all of them bold okay uh, with this uh, it is not done uh, here you must get a double board okay so let's go ahead and let me do that part. So this is for the column 2 and 3. See, you can select any one of them. I'll select the column number 2. And on the column number 2, I will go to the uh, design here. And uh, you have uh, the options for you. So these are many options are there. I click on this down arrow and I'll select uh, this one. Okay. So this is done and uh, I'm going to go to the border and I'm going to select the right hand border. You can notice that the minute I select it, uh, uh, you get uh, the effect there. I do that thing. It's all done. Also, you will notice that um, this part is merged with the star star star. So that uh, is uh, selected and then go to the layout. So this is it layout and then uh, go to the merge cells that's it and put to three stars this time i'm going to type it so three star is done and you're supposed to fill the remaining part there so this is what they have said but uh, you're supposed to fill the remaining part so type the lab and so on and so forth so with this we have completed the work thank you